the intro, bro. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the No BS Real Estate Show, a podcast that gives you an inside look on how to make smart financial decisions while adding value to your life. I'm Matty Miller with ERA Real Estate, alongside my co-host and real estate investor extraordinaire, Ryan Robbins. Whether you're a long-time investor or a first-time buyer, join us as we dig through the everyday bullshit of real estate. It's Friday. What are you drinking, Mr. Robbins? Take a guess. Uh, it, Starts with bud and ends with light. Uh, uh. That's not bud. <laughs> Good God. If you, we wouldn't be friends if you were drinking Bud Light on our I show. Mind. I don't mind Thank Bud you. Light. You got a little high lie. Horrible. Horrible. I'm probably going to offend our listeners now. Like, But I don't feel like if you listen to the show, you're drinking Bud Light. I really don't. I just I don't, don't think you're a Bud Light guy. I, you listen to... Real estate investors typically don't drink Bud Light. Well, we need to hang Do out they? more on the we-, we need to hang out more on the weekends because I put back a few Bud Lights every now and then. I can if I mean I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you from a beer standpoint. Last weekend I drank some Natter Days, the Natty Light watermelon lemon oh, aid on. stuff. They were fa- it was it was great pool beer. <laughs> It's hot as shit. It's great pool beer. It's fantastic. So you know what? Get off me about natter days. Speaking of pool drinks, like a spike, Mr. Seltzer, Spike Seltzer water. Yeah, this is my life right I, now. I've never even I've never even had one of those. I'm strictly a beer guy. Oh please, don't even play <laughs> that up right now. Get out of here. So it was just just, so drink, was just your, drinking one of those prior to the show. Here, we are not here to talk about drinking, uh, even though we do enjoy that. Uh, we are here to talk about real estate and what happened this week. This is our Friday No Bullshit episode. It's 5 o'clock. It's the end of the week for the most part. What happened this week? Anything oh, exciting? Yeah. Anything at all? I was going to say, I want to talk about some no bullshit at all. Um, we had a closing today. I mentioned to you earlier. Correct. But I'm for the people out about. there, somebody that had connected with us about a month and a half ago, uh, okay. found us online, linked up, looking for a rental property here in Jacksonville. They're living out on the West Coast, never invested in Jacksonville. You and I took that uh, you know, challenge head on, found them a turnkey property, and not only did we, again, secure that, get them under contract, but we're going to keep that in-house. You're going to actually manage it going forward here, and that closed today. So call was, again, probably 40 or 45 days ago, took a and week I or already, two to find that and property. I already, have a, I already have it listed for rent. Yep. Um, so, and we already have two now, two appointments uh, of qualified renters who are looking, wanting to look at the property this weekend. So, yeah. and again, only, con- or went officially sold to them today. And again, you're saying we've got two, two showings. I might have, I might have list, I might have listed it before it was actually closed. But that's all right. Here to, you're not. We haven't shown it prior. Fingers. But he's here to point fingers. Get out of here. Either way, so. uh, that's exciting. So love to hear stories like that. Yep. Yep. And uh, um, how about not only locally, but again, across the country. Think locally, build globally. Oof. Do you remember the Do you remember the movie Biodome? What was the saying in that movie? It I don't was know. like think that saying I think it's something like that. If anybody out there listens to Biodome or has seen Biodome, let us know what that uh, that saying was. I mean, obviously, I can Google it, but I'd rather have our fans let us know. That'd be more fun. Um, Biodome was a fantastic movie, by the way. Anyway, so I had a fun one this afternoon. Um, like, I don't know how you want to celebrate. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like something like that. Or, woo, you know, raise the roof, throw it off. When your lender that you've been using for a while who – is good. She's fantastic. She helps me out a lot. And she um, has thrown me a couple pieces of business over the years, but not a ton, which I'm not disrespecting her. I love her to death. Um, but she sent me a young man who's looking for a quarter of a million dollar property, um, which in Jacksonville is your sweet spot, 250000 right in there, and connected with him. And uh, just shot him an email and talked to him for about 20 minutes the other day. And 
uh, actually just a few minutes ago, not the other day, just a few minutes ago. And we're going to get him uh, pre-approved next week. And he's living with mom and dad right now. And he has a kid and him and the, uh, him and the girl, him and the wife are saying deuces yeah. to mom and dad's house. <laughs> so trying to find their own place. So, um, right so I got that lead and, uh, actually, actually, actually knew a kid that he went to high school with. Um, so there was a little bit of establishing that rapport and instantly it's so funny by the way somebody you coached no it wasn't a kid i coached no no no. Okay. nope so it was just a friend of a, it was i'm actually friends but with a school you coach at locally here yes correct okay. i do but not that coach not that okay. school though i just happen to know the kid's dad and then he was friends with the son it's a long story anyway but it's funny when you're talking to somebody and especially in sales um and anybody in sales can can you know kind of attest to this is that if you can find that one person and you kind of take a stab because you hope that that one person is the person they like to, the one person that you know that they might know. And as soon as they say, hey, I know that guy. Oh, yeah, great dude. Their tone changes with you. Like, and I noticed it today. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, boom, open, open conversation. Yeah. Wham. Just like, it was just like, oh, that was so, such a fantastic feeling. Uh, from a real estate perspective, it's, it's, and it, it helps. It helps the trust build. You know, well, it's just common ground, and I, I think that there's one thing that you have to do with people, and it's it's just common ground. Yeah. Bottom line, and you know, and, and at the same time, if I'm a seller or a buyer or whatever or an investor, I'm probably trying to do the same thing to you because I want to trust you. I just have to figure out how to. So whether that's through trust or whatever, or you know, conversations that you have and and things like that, it was you know, it's good. So. Yeah, so I walked into a new property management client that uh, is going to be signing up here hopefully shortly. His timeline's a little extended, but uh, walked into that and walked out uh, walked out to a call on my phone that, hey, you got to call this guy. He wants to buy a house. So fantastic. Let's do it. So so it's been a good Friday. Um, so not a lot of bullshit, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of bullshit on my end either this week. I've had a couple, like, you know, as you get closer to closing, things uh, – Sometimes get a little one. hairy. So we, I've had a closing date shift three times um, in the last, you know, three to four days. Brutal. But it's it's still next week. It's just shifted days and times within the week. So uh, aside from that, no major issues to report on this side. I am dealing uh, with one bullshit story at the moment. Um, supposed to have a closing. So this weekend is Memorial Day. Uh, by the way, we're actually live. It's not March 15th. Um, so it's actually this weekend's Memorial day and my dumb ass, um, scheduled the closing for the Monday after Memorial day, which by the way, is a a day that no one works because it's Memorial day. Um, and that was the date scheduled and I didn't even look at it when I was writing up the contract. Honestly, we didn't even think we were going to get a, we didn't think we were going to get the house anyway. So the contract just kind of stayed and then I looked at it. I was like, shit, why did I put closing for the Monday after Memorial day? Well, here's the deal. So I have a feeling that the lender who I love her and it's not her, it's the underwriters and processors and all that stuff. It's like, they're like, Oh yeah, it's Friday before Memorial day. I'm not doing shit. We're supposed to have a clear to close. We're supposed to have the lender packet over there today. That doesn't get done. Of course. So now I got to tell the buyer that we were supposed to close on Tuesday. We'd already moved the closing to Tuesday. Now I got to do tell the buyer that, Hey, by the way, we're probably going to have to move it to Wednesday um, because the lender didn't get the package done and they're still, they were still verifying some stuff on his end. So it's, he's got a little bit of a weird, uh, caveat. He's actually a, he's, he's a merchant seaman. Um, so he travels on different ships. So he gets paid like by eight different people throughout the year, uh, which is very common in the maritime industry, obviously. Um, and we see that, you know, to be quite often. He's actually sent me a couple other of his buddies uh, to, to help out too. So anyway, but moral of the story is now we're going to have to move closing again. And we have until I did the extension last time um, and moved it and gave the extension till Wednesday. And I'm really glad that I did. Cause I was like, dude, a Tuesday coming off Memorial day. <sighs> I know how people work. This is just not going to get done. I like, hate I doing gave extensions it. because at the end of the day, you don't want to extend it out a week or two. Because then no. it's like, everybody's like, why pissed. is it going to take get, that long? But then if you yeah. only do it one day or two days, well, then you got to do another one. And then another, it's like another one. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. So, so yeah. yeah. And the worst part is, is his stuff. He's he's being he's relocating um, and he's actually 
his stuff is supposedly supposed to be delivered here on Tuesday to the ad to the new address. So I haven't had that phone call with him yet. Uh, I will hear shortly, probably after I do this podcast, but uh, just let him know, hey, uh, so here's what's going on. And so that's the one piece of bullshit that I'm going to have how's to deal it, with. How's it coming? It's going to be fine. Is it going to, yeah. I was going to say, is it in like a pod or is it coming via 18 wheeler? Uh, I truck? think it's a pod. I think he doesn't know, but I, if it's a pod, I'm just going to tell him to drop some bitch in the driveway and say, fuck it. Well, yeah. Like, I'm going to say either way. I, we never suggest on the selling side to uh, do an early move in, but if no, it's your buyer, I don't want to do, that. if it's my buyer, I'll yeah, whatever. I mean, I don't know. If it's your buyer thing off at the yeah just drop it there so you're frozen by the way so anyway so we're yeah so and you're back are you back hey and you're back hey oh could you not yeah, hear me so. that whole time nope couldn't hear you i was like yeah. and i'm so loud. i, I was talking about all the these. secrets to a long uh fruitful to how to life move in, to how to move in and move in early yeah, that's it. <laughs> so five second uh, breakdown, right? So yeah, so I think what we'll probably do, honestly, and and I hope the other side of the agent, the other agent doesn't listen to my podcast, which she already thinks I'm a young punk anyway, so it's fine. So I'm pretty sure she won't listen to our podcast. Um, so I'll probably just have him drop the pod the pod off in the back driveway on Tuesday, and say screw it. So that's what I'm kind of going to go with, and then make sure he goes over and puts a lock on it. So probably won't come with a lock. Oh. Well, if it's Tuesday, you're closing Wednesday. We're closing one. We close it Wednesday morning, and I don't even know what time to get there on Tuesday. So, but anyway, that's not my problem. I'm just trying to get quite, the damn thing closed. Quite frankly, from a personal perspective, you got to be a not nice of a person uh, if you're going to be that much of a pain to say. Nah, you can't drop that pod 12 hours before we're going to close this. You know, the sale. You got to be a real hot steamy pile of shit <laughs> okay you said Real it. hot steamy pile of shit you said not that. say hey that's a better 20, word than i was going to use either but my 20 my 23 year old first time buyer is getting a shit move from houston texas um to jacksonville florida and it's going to be there a day early we thought we were going to close it was already scheduled but he can't put it there is he really you said maritime is he uh it's still currently active duty or is he, uh, well, is he not, not even he, in the military? He, can kinda, he just works on ships. He can kind of go on ships whenever he wants to. So it's all like kind of contract work. So okay. it's an interesting <laughs> field. But anyway, yeah. So moral of the story is just lenders that take their time all the way up through it um, just kind of upsets me. Like I feel like this could have been done a while ago. Perfect so yeah. high lie. I have a. So I'm dog sitting this weekend, by the way, and then we'll, we'll wrap this podcast up since it's just a bullshit episode. But I'm dog sitting this weekend. And speaking of beer, um, my the people that I'm dog sitting for, they're going down to Tampa and they're going to go to the Big Storm Brewing Company in Tampa. And he said he'd bring me back four six packs for dog sitting. So 24 beers of craft beer for dog sitting for three days. What kind of dogs you got to watch? Uh, well, we got this guy over here. Let's check. Come here, dude. Hold oh, on, you dude. actually you got him you got him at the house, huh? Oh yeah, right now I do. Well, we got this one. <laughs> so that is one ugly looking mug. Titus, wave high. He's not he's not real thrilled about being on the uh well, yep. And he's on my oh. desk now. This is I saw this. I saw this going drastically different. Look up, man. Hey, Bubba. Let's talk about Titus's bullshit from this past week. What do you got, man? Share your experiences. Well, he got into the trash and ripped up a bunch of papers. Luckily, they were in the trash for a reason. Um, and Dealing with his damn underbite now for 14 years. Yeah. Fucking old bay. He stinks like a son. He needs a bath. Get down. All right. And then... Gunner is the mutt that uh, we're, we're, we're dog sitting and he's over here in the corner sleeping in my office. So uh, he's a he's a mutt, but he's a good looking boy. He's like a he's got a little American bulldog, a little lab. I'm not really sure what he is. You but know, anyway, we're all mutts at the end of the day. We are pretty all much. Mutts. We're, all, we're all Heinz 57s, right? 
So, I mean, you know, my, my Scandinavian ginger ass is, you know, we get the red beard. I can't tan real well. I'm living in the wrong state for it. I'm outside all the time playing golf and softball. What the hell is a man supposed to do? So. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, hey, this, uh, we wanted to get this in and uh, talk about a little bit of the bullshit we deal with every week. Uh, We're going to wrap this thing up. You got anything else? That's all I got, man. That's all I got. Everyone, enjoy your holiday weekend. Relieve some stress by whatever it is that you do, whether it's drinking a beer, whether it's reading a book, whether it's smoking the Chiba, whatever you decide to do, do it safe and enjoy Memorial Day weekend, whatever, however it is you decide, you decide to spend it. Believe and I'm out. Much. And I'm out. You're, you're taking my ASMR voice over just, here. <laughs> oh, is that? The, yeah. That's it. That's, you picked ooh, it up. That was kind of the thing. Yeah, I didn't even watch any of those videos either. I know. All right, man. Well, uh, I, I think we're going to get together over the weekend, uh, you know, maybe enjoy some pool beers and uh, relax a little bit and, uh, you know, try not to work ourselves to the bone over the weekend. And uh, other than that, man, they know where to find us. We're going to do the outro and uh, we'll talk to you later. That's it. We'll see you guys. Thanks for listening to our podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, there's a few things I'd like you to do. Subscribe, leave a review, and head over to nobsrealestatepodcast.com where you can connect with Matt and I on all of the platforms we're on. Also, if you could do us a favor, leave a message letting us know what you enjoyed about the episode and what you'd like to hear about going forward. Publish this bitch.